I'm walking out of the gym with my twin 13 year old boys and this 20 year old kid is hitting on me. Hi dog, this is my dog. Dog. This is my other dog, Mon. So this kid is like asking me out. Hey, can I get your digits? Can I get your number? And I'm like, uh, you know, no thank you. Of course he doesn't give up. He's like, oh, but why? Like, you, I'm, a, I'm a man. Like, you see this vape shop right here? I own this, this is my shop. To which I discover that it's his dad's shop, not his shop. And I'm like, no, thank you. You're like a lot younger than me because he's like 20, 21. So then this kid pulls out a huge freaking wad of cash. Like he just came from the strip club or he's a drug dealer. He tells me that he could pay all my bills and he could take care of me. And I'm like, dude, I already do that. I don't need that. And he's like, well, what do you want? I was like, no, let's, let me ask you what you want. Do you want to be, you want to be the daddy of four, four teenagers right now? <laughs> and you know what his response was? Yes, I'll be the daddy of whatever you want, girl. Literally, there was nothing I could say. I mean, I could have told him that I had a horrible case of genital warts and I'm crazy and just got out of prison and he still would have been all over it super annoying but I ended up just having to get into my car my twin boys were dying laughing because they knew that this kid had no chance and I just got I had to car at least I had to leave I had to just kind of like ghost him right in front of his face because he would not stop so the moral of the story is don't show me your cash show me your therapy receipts though mm-hmm well I'll be down with that